Hi, I'm with uh, Derby Telegraph Chief Football Writer Steve Nicholson uh, for a few thoughts on the Rams 1-0 victory over Brighton today. Um, Steve, initial thoughts on the outcome of the game? Yeah, it was always going to be a, a tight game, I felt. You've got to look at Brighton's record before they came here. I think they conceded something like nine goals in 12 away games in the league and not scored too many. So it was always going to be a game of limited chances, uh, few opportunities and a tactical game I thought as well and both sides play a similar style they like to keep the ball and also Derby were a little nervous they'd lost three on the spin uh, they needed a, a performance they needed a victory more than anything uh, just to kick start them again and uh, I thought we saw that first half there wasn't much in it uh, and as the game slowly unfolded I thought the two substitutions uh, uh, Steve McLaren made uh, double substitution Hendrick and Bamford on just gave Derby a little bit of an edge, but all in all, it was a very, very tight game and a very good three points. You mentioned uh, Patrick Bamford, who scored the winning goal on his home debut. Yeah, he uh, first of all, it was a quality goal, uh, probably the the one real moment of quality in the game. Uh, it came about actually with a, a Ward who was very much involved. Jamie Ward, he played a one-two, and then he looked for a foul. I think it was on the edge of the box. It wasn't given. And the ball, the ball made its way to Patrick Bamford and he, and he finished it left-footed, beautifully, high and wide of the keeper. Real quality finish. And he's shown this season already at MK Dons that he can score goals. Uh, he, 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 had a very good, uh, he had a very good time out there today, Patrick. He, you know, he, 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 looked a, he looked a player. So I think with him on loan to the end of the season, I think Derby made a good sign. And the win today consolidates uh, fourth spot for the Rams? Yeah, it does, and I think that's that's vitally important. Uh, what they've done is that the run of eight wins in nine games cemented their place in the top six. So when they lost the two league games back to back against Wigan and Leicester, it meant that they stayed in there, and that was vitally important. I think now I've not seen the table too closely, but I think they've opened up a gap. It may be an eight-point gap now between themselves in fourth place and Brighton in seventh place. And at this stage of the season, that's a very healthy cushion.